What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about ranked play in Call of Duty Vanguard and we finally got some info from Sledgehammer about this. They went ahead and put out a tweet saying ranked play is planned to roll out alongside the new Call of Duty Vanguard content in February. So that's going to be, you know, when season two starts. So they're very excited about the future of ranked play and they will give us more details as it gets closer to release. And I think a lot of people have really been looking forward to ranked play. I know I have. Over the last several years, when it comes to skill-based matchmaking and just casual lobbies, I feel like I might as well be playing ranked play anyway because I have the belief of if you're going to have a game that has skill-based matchmaking, you should have two separate lobbies. One that's casual without skill-based matchmaking and then a ranked lobby that is skill-based because that's what ranked's supposed to be. It's supposed to be tougher matches. Kind of that whole idea of what the pro league side plays. So if you look at things like Rainbow Six, Overwatch, uh, things like Halo, those are all based off what the pro players play. And I think Call of Duty should split this up. I think Call of Duty should come out with ranked uh, play or a ranked playlist every year as soon as the game drops. Sadly, that's not the case. And sadly, it's not going to be the case. They're not going to get rid of skill-based matchmaking when ranked play drops either. But it's kind of just hoping for you know that in the future of Call of Duty. Hopefully, they're going to learn from this. Ranked play over the last few years has not been that impressive in a lot of people's minds considering it really seems like it's based more off how much you play than whether you win or lose or how well you perform. I'm hoping they're going to change that up. A lot of people are hoping they're going to take some of the things that uh, you know Halo Infinite has done really well. Uh, and they have talked about some of the things, and this was from Treyarch Studios back uh, in October. They put out a tweet saying they're collaborating with their partners to bring competitive modes, rank skill divisions, visible skill rankings, and new competitive rewards to Vanguard's ranked play in 2022. So it sounds like Treyarch is kind of doing more of the ranked side than Sledgehammer, which is probably a good thing considering ranked play in, uh, of course, Black Ops 2 was probably one of the best ranked we uh, ranked playlists we've had. Uh, Black Ops 4 was not that great. Black Ops 4 was more of that, the more you play, the higher rank you seem to get. really didn't base too much off your performance or win and losses. And I think there is some things they could take from what they just said and kind of add, like I said, some of the things that Halo Infinite has done. One thing they talked about, of course, was having a visible rank system. So that visible ELO system that uh, Halo does is always a great thing in my opinion. You actually should be able to see your rank. I don't really think it should be based on seasons like they've done in the past uh, with Call of Duty's rank. I think they should go back to that Black Ops 2 system where you actually had a visible rank and based on your wins and losses that goes up and down. Of course, some other things players have talked about is an option to solo or du uh, duo queue. I think that is one thing that Halo did really, really well. If you're playing by yourself, you really don't want to go into rank playing and be put up against an uh, entire team in Call of Duty. So if you're playing against four players, that's going to be pretty rough if you're playing by yourself. So if you're playing solo or you're playing with just one friend, have the option to either queue that for solo or duo queues in ranked. And also input-based uh, matchmaking. Crossplay, of course, is pretty much the normal thing now when it comes to shooters. So if you're on PC and console and you want to play against each other, of course you have that option. But if you're on console and you don't want to have to play in a PC lobby and ranked, I think it should really be input based. And that's one thing Halo also did very well because they solved that by one, uh, once and for all by allowing for input based matchmaking. So players can decide whether they want to play against only controller players or only mouse and keyboard players or a mix of both in a kind of open queue. So that is a thing that I think, or a couple of things that I think Treyarch could kind of take from what Halo has done and some other games have done as well and kind of implement that into Call of Duty Vanguard's rank play and the rank play experience would be a lot better in my opinion. I think it would be a pretty popular uh, thing as well. I think you actually would get some players to come back that have kind of just stepped away because they're not really fans of, you know, pub matches and, and Call of Duty have not really been enjoyable over the years. They're just, people really don't enjoy it considering even if it is just straight skill-based matchmaking, it's skill-based matchmaking from just everybody in the world. It's not really putting you in lobbies based on skill and good connection, which it should be. It feels like you're being put in skill-based match-made lobbies with bad connections. And I think a good rank play will get people interested in Call of Duty Vanguard once again. Hopefully we'll get some more details soon. And when we do, I'll bring you guys another video about it. Of course, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And if you liked the video, hit the like. If you had not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.